How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. So last time, I had a bit of a confrontation over on Rose Tower, but this time it is time to get through the Champions Cup. Let's go ahead and see the opening ceremony. Will you be heading onto the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready, then in you go. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar! I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in on his behalf in order to lead you to all greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals matches begin. I had to read that so fast because the text advanced really fast. Wait, you. Oh no, <laughs> not him again. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bede, he's the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with challenger Maryland here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events! Former Challenger Bede has come for one last battle! We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Bede. To all our viewers, both here in, in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokémon every day, and here I am, pouring my heart out to you, when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bead's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love? By giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Maryland? My will hasn't been broken yet. And here we go, we're challenged by Gym Leader Bead. That's right, he is the new fairy type Gym Leader taking over Opal's spot. So I guess it kinda counts, right? Okay, anyway, he leads with his Mawile. Really embracing that, uh, that fairy type vibe, right? So this is, uh, we face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. So yeah, it has Intimidate, which, uh, you know, mild annoyance, but not too bad. It does have Play Rough, which can hit fairly hard, as well as Iron Head and Crunch, so watch out for that. But a good Ground-type or Fire-type move should, uh, should do pretty well against this thing. And that is the only pure- well, it's not even a pure Fairy-type. He has an interesting gimmick. That's the only Pokémon on his team that isn't also part Psychic. He's- really a hybrid gym leader. He uses both Psychic and Fairy-type Pokemon. So everything from here on out is Psychic Fairy. So yeah, uh, I think I kind of want to get out of here. I do have Roserade, but that's a little on the scary side. So I think what I'll do instead, let's go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? Let's set up some Calm Mind. Most of his Pokemon are well, okay, I guess not most, but about half of his Pokémon are physical-based, half are special-based. His Gardevoir is definitely special-based, so I think I'll set up a Calm Mind if I get the chance. Now, it can also use Calm Mind, but that shouldn't be a problem. Other than that, it has Dazzling Gleam and Psychic for attacking moves. 
Both are capable of doing some pretty good damage, though, because Gardevoir has a lot of special attack. And yeah, it looks like it's going for Calm Mind as well. Poison type moves are the way to go, but again, you gotta be very careful because all of his uh all of his psychic type and fairy type Pokemon well all of his fairy type Pokemon are also part psychic, so poison is of course weak to psychic. So that's a little uh, oh, this is actually gonna be a big problem. So Wish is gonna restore its HP after a turn, and I'm not doing as much as I would like, so I think I'm gonna set up yet another calm mine just to try to out-damage it. Oh no! This could get very bad! Now if you have any Steel-type moves, that's the way to go. That is definitely... definitely a better play here. Uh, I have to do this again. <laughs> I feel like we're both Metapods right now. Engaging in a hardened battle. Uh, you don't want to do anything, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll set up Reflect right now. And then we're just gonna go for it, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> well, we're back at square one. Okay, well, at least it's not going to use Wish, so that's a good thing. I mean, even if it does, I should be able to take it out. Yeah, you don't want to let that thing set up Calm Mind. Oh no, full restore. Should have seen that one coming. See, if I can just get one more Calm Mind on this thing, I can probably take it out. What a fight. Okay. I think it's finally over, though. Rapidash. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm actually gonna stay out, and I think I'm gonna heal up. Because I do have Reflect, and I have all the extra special attack and special defense boosts. So I kind of don't want to lose those. Let's use a Hyper Potion. Yeah, so this thing, it's also Psychic Fairy type, but it's more physical based. It'll use Psycho Cut, as well as uh, well, a few normal type moves that really aren't a threat. Okay, now I should be able to take this thing out with Bug Buzz. There we go. Well, there goes my Reflect, but that's fine, because I don't need it for anything now. Okay, so it's the last of his Pokemon, Hatterene. And I might as well keep Orbeetle here. Tch, what's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win. Yeah, this thing is uh, fully evolved now. Definitely a wild looking thing. And it is capable of Gigantamaxing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax. I think we'll do that. Use Max Flutterby. Now it does have Mystical Fire as a base move. So even though I won't be using it for a few turns, that is something to keep in mind that it does have a fire type move in its arsenal. So keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, Psychic and Dazzling Gleam, they will both hit very hard, especially as their respective max moves. We'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatterene to Gigantamax. Thing is wild. All 
Alright, well, let's max Flutterby. <laughs> I should be able to take it down. Oh, wow, what? Not even in one hit. Despite all my bonuses. Well, that's fine. We got a chance to see uh, Max Flair there. There we go. Yeah, you get so much experience in these fights. You'll gain levels like crazy. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. He's a change man. <laughs> I throw in a psychic type towel. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bede was no match for Challenger Maryland and his trusted team. Hey Bede, that was some match! Tell retire, just restart your career! But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans! With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy-type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Maryland, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. <laughs> oh, that bead. Okay. Rather surprising for Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head onto the pitch. The finals are about to begin. So I believe you get healed up in full after every match. So that's very good. That's some good news. Uh, all right, so I think I want to lead with... Let's go ahead and... We're going to lead with Arctazolt here. I think that'll work out fairly well. Okay. So... Where is everyone? Oh no, I'm late. I had to fight that guy, okay? Don't blame me. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... A trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Maryland. His opponent is... The Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa! I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hallbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion, either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Oh yeah, let's go. So yeah, we get to rematch her. And we get new music! You are challenged by gym leader Nessa. And she's mixing it up for sure. She's got a Glycopod. Yeah, this thing is pretty scary. Bug water type, tons of physical defense. It's hard too. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. All right, so that's why I wanted to bring this thing so I can use freeze dry on it. Ooh, actually outspeed it. So it does have first impression, which uh, we've seen before, but it also has some other strong moves like liquidation and shadow claw. You gotta watch out for swords dance though. Because you do not want to see that thing with extra attack. Anyway, Barrasquita's up next. Uh, this should be fine. So that thing is very fast. It has a lot of strong attacking moves, all physical based. It does have Drill Run as well, so be careful if you're using an electric type Pokemon <laughs> like me. Oh man, I just realized. Okay, well, I took it all right.
Yeah, she does a pretty decent job at trying to cover her bases, actually. Sea King, oh boy. Yeah, speaking of covering bases, this thing has Mega Horn, so if you're thinking to go in there with a Grass type, that can catch you off guard. I am going to use that, but that's also because I have a Grass Poison type, so I should be fine. Now, I guess one thing to keep in mind is her Barrasputa and Sea King both have Swift Swim. And she does have a Pelipper, which we'll see later. That thing has Drizzle, so if that sets up the Drizzle, it'll cause rain for a few turns. And that, as a result, will speed up both Sea King and Barrasputa. So definitely keep that in mind. They're also pretty fast as is, so even your faster Pokemon might end up being outsped by them. All right, here's Pelipper. I think I'm gonna use Arc Dissolt again here. Yeah, there's that Drizzle. So you wanna watch out for Drizzle too because that will also power up water type moves. So that's a little scary. Okay, that thing's out of the picture. It's got Air Slash and Water Pulse, both of which can cause some status ailments. Oh, there we go, Discharge. That's what I've been waiting for. Uh, let's get rid of Pluck because I never use it, and I don't think I ever will. Dreadnought. All right. Uh, yeah, so this thing, it's the star of her show. Water rock type, so any grass type moves will do a really good amount of damage to it. But it does have some pretty hard hitting moves. Very physical based. It's got liquidation, crunch. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Oh, yeah, here we go. See, I love this cheering, just for the record. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean! Dreadnought, time to Gigantamax! Yeah, what I like about the cheering this time around, just to go back to that earlier point where I voiced an opinion that I didn't like it for the one, it was really just like how uniform the tone sounded. With this, they sound really all over the place, like they're not perfect. And that's exactly what I wanted from cheering. I think it's a cool effect. I just didn't like that one instance of it. And I didn't want to kind of mention this because, you know, it's like way earlier in the game. But yeah, this is like, this is hype. I love this. I think this is fantastic. And I really like the second part of this battle theme too. Like it doesn't bother me in the slightest. It really fits the mood. Really, like, honestly, this whole stadium and environment, it's so cool. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. Yeah, I also had some pretty good counters. And the winner is Maryland! He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and has now pulled it off again. Well, yeah, I beat everyone in the gym challenge because that's how it goes. You and your Pokemon are just too much, even with my Dynamax partner. Well, yeah, uh, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. These are the results of the first round. Whoops, that went by kind of fast, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, that is indeed the results, so 
Yeah, um, the next battle that comes up, that will depend on which, or it will vary based on which version you are playing. If you're playing Pokemon Sword, like I am, you're going to be facing off against B, the fighting type gym leader. But if you're playing Pokemon Shield, you'll be facing off against Alistair, the ghost type gym leader instead. So yeah, that's something to, uh, to keep in mind. I'm actually going to lead with my Rune Regus here. Cause I have a fun idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then after this fight, before the next one, I'll show you what it's like in Pokemon Shield as well. Because I did record that way back, and that was actually my first impression of it. But we'll take that on in a moment, just keep in mind. Uh, this is only for Pokemon Sword. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym leader or gym challenger Bead stormed the stage. But Marilyn was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have... The Galar Karate Prodigy! Let's hear it for Gym Leader B, everybody! I promise you my attacks will shake your very soul this time! May the best trainer win! Here we go! You are challenged by Gym Leader B! And she's leading with a Halucha. Oh man, really solid fighting flying type bird. But here's the problem. <laughs> it has flying press, high jump kick. You might have won, won, or you might have won win on me, but this is where I'll show you, I'm serious. Uh, yeah, it has flying press, high jump kick, and bounce, that's it. So there's not actually that much it can do to me. All it can do is bounce. So, as a result, um, I think it's going to outspeed me, though, and that's all it can do. So, whatever I do on this first turn doesn't really matter. Yep, okay, so, let's hit it on the second turn, then. Not too bad. And now I'll have Limber, so I don't have to worry about, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because I'm gonna hit it and get my thing back. Hmm. <laughs> that didn't do very much, but oh well, it's fine. Okay, so here's the thing. If she uses a full restore selling right now, then I'll just hit her. If she doesn't, then she's gonna spring down and damage me, but then I use Shadow Claw next turn, and that's it. That's kind of silly. Oh wow, I avoided the attack. That's kind of lucky. <laughs> okay, well there we go. Halucha's out of the way. High jump kick can hurt though, so watch out. If you do have something like protect or dive or something along those lines, that would be an excellent move to use against Halucha because it'll do so much damage if it misses. Okay, so next up is Surfetched. I shouldn't need to tell you about Surfetched. Uh, yeah, it has Leaf Blade, it has Brick Break, it also has Slam and Brutal Swing, which shouldn't be that big of a threat, but there's still issues. I guess Brutal Swing will kind of mean my Aura Beetle is going to be in trouble, but that's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and send out Aura Beetle here. And I am going to go ahead and use Reflect. So like I said, it has Brick Break, so that will get around Reflect, but it will do virtually no damage thanks to my typing, so shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so we'll set up Reflect. It'll probably use Brutal Swing, which hopefully won't do that much. Okay, now we can go ahead and use Psychic. Yeah, this thing has very high attack though, so you definitely want to watch out. But it's also just pure fighting. In fact, everything on her team except for Halucha is pure fighting, so... If you have a Psychic-type Pokémon, you should be just fine. Especially because there's not really a lot of options she has on any of her Pokémon to counter it. 
All right, so here's Phalanx. Again, I just said it's fighting, but it does have an interesting move, no retreat, which prevents it from switching out, but it also raises its stats by one stage. And since NPC trainers don't usually switch out, yeah, that can be a pain. And it does have close combat as well, which will do heavy damage, but then lower its stats. Uh, grab locked. So this is another interesting one. <laughs> I'm actually going to use Rune Regis here because I don't think there's anything this can even do. I think all it has are moves that are completely negated by ghost Pokemon. It has Submission and Mega Punch, and then Octolock and Find. I, I don't know, I think it can still use Octolock, but it's not like it's going to do very much. Well, let's just see how this goes. I can take it out in two hits, which is nice. Ha! <laughs> it can't even do it! So yeah, if you have a ghost type, there's nothing Grapplock can do. Like, it's just 100% free. Alright, Machamp. This is the star of her show, and it's definitely a threat. It hits very hard. And it has some strong moves. Uh, I believe my Orb Beetle will be just fine. But do I want to mix it up? Nah, I really don't. <laughs> I like my Orb Beetle. This is a Pokemon I really wasn't sure I'd like, but it's just so good. It, it, like, actually hits hard and is very tanky. And is fast. Like, it's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Oh yeah, we get the hype music. So I already have Reflect up, so we should be good there. Fine then, let's just destroy everything! I didn't even read the last part because it went so fast! Alright, well, we've seen this thing before Gigantamax Machamp! Flare. Yeah, it does have Fire Punch as a base move, so something to watch out for. Not that it's really a direct counter to Psychic types, though, or even Flying types. Yeah, this thing has nothing for either of those, really. But things like Corviknight, things like Orb Beetle, you know, they're definitely at risk as a result. But it does have very strong fighting moves, so you gotta watch out for that. Anyway, it's not like it's gonna use them here. There we go. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. B has been defeated! Challenger Maryland has shown his skill! Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was for the best, or I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future, and I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seats, folks! These are the results of the second round. Here you go, now you can actually see, so I have to have another rematch against, well, a rematch against Ryan. And of course, this does change based on which game you're playing. If you're playing Pokemon Shield, instead of B versus Gordy, it'll be um, Alistair versus Melanie. Whoa! 
Contender Ryan gloriously defeated Contender Piers. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Maryland. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Ryan. You look so sloppy out there because people are going to think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Ryan's just that strong, but I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Maryland. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chinwag just before the final match. Ryan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. All right, so this is actually what takes place if you're playing Pokemon Shield for this match instead. It's basically the same. All the commentary here is for the most part the same until we get to the challenger, of course. And now to take him on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide, or far and wide as the school-aged, the silent school-aged star. I'm Alistair, I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. Or so I reckon we should battle. Yeah, uh, so this is post-commentary, unfortunately. I didn't actually record my live thoughts during this. I kind of wanted to get through it, but I'll commentate over this and just kind of tell you what the fight's about, because it does differ if you're playing Pokemon Shield. So yeah, he leads with Dusnoir. Thing's a rather powerful ghost type. Has Shadow Punch, Thunder Punch. Everyone's looking, I wanna hide, but I'll fight. Rock Tomb and Disable. So it shouldn't be that tough. Like none of its moves hit overly hard. Uh, I don't really have like the greatest matchup against it, but that's fine. We'll just hit it with Snipe Shot on my Inteleon. Good old Whimper. Get a nice critical hit there. It does actually have some pretty decent defensive stats, so I think the critical hit actually mattered. Poltegeist. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Pure ghost type. So I think I'm gonna send out my tough stuff. My uh, beware here. Pretty darn strong Pokemon, I tell ya. Yeah, so this thing, it's packing Shadow Ball, but it also has Nasty Plot. You have to watch out for that, because if it sets that up, it's pretty bad. It has some high special attack, and doubling it, really not a good thing. It also has Giga Drain and Protect, as you just saw there. Now, I'm using some normal types here, which is actually not a terrible idea, because there's nothing that's actually going to be super effective against them on his team. He has no fighting moves, so if you have something that's part normal type, and has a dark type move, you're in business. Or even a ghost type move, for that matter. Alright, so next up, he's sending out his... Chandelure, <laughs> yeah. So this thing's a ghost fire type. It also has very high special attack, so you gotta watch out. It doesn't have many moves, though. It has Shadow Ball which will hit hard. It has Mystical Fire, which is fairly strong, but it also lowers your, I think it's your special attack. And it has Will-O-Wisp, which could be rather annoying. Try to take it down right away. Otherwise, it could do some damage. All right, next up, Cursola. Probably have seen this thing before. It's a little scary, but thankfully it doesn't really have the best of moves. It has Hex, but it doesn't actually have any way to inflict any status conditions. So that's nice. I guess watch out if you get burned from Will-O-Wisp, though. And then it also has Ancient Power, which it's scary if it gets the boost, but it shouldn't be too bad otherwise. Strength Sap will heal it, though, and lower your attack. And it'll heal more based on Pokemon, or like, based on the target's attack. So like, if I have something with high attack, it'll use Strength Sap, heal a lot, and lower my attack. So, kind of interesting, but anyway, it's gone. Shouldn't be much of a threat. And lastly, it is his Gengar. Yeah, remember that thing? Well, if you're playing Pokemon Sword, you wouldn't. But yeah, this thing is a Gigantamax-capable Gengar. It's pretty tough still. My very last Pokemon, how lonely, how frightening.
All right, well, I might as well Dynamax here as well. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Oh man. So yeah, this thing has access to Ghost, Poison, and Dark moves for damaging moves. So you have to watch out for that while it's Gigantamaxed. It also has Hypnosis, which will only be a, a factor after it's uh, finished Gigantamaxing. But it still can be rather annoying. And of course, Gengar, it's very fast and it has a lot of special attack. So it can hit pretty hard. Thankfully, I took this fairly well. It has max ooze, which you have to watch out for, because it raises its special attack afterwards. But I had no trouble taking that thing down. Thankfully, it doesn't have the greatest defenses in the world. Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong you really are. Challenger Marilyn has done it again! What a performance! He sails right through! Crumbs. That was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Are seemingly unstoppable? Yeah, etc. Same as the other. Anyway, let's get back to the final match here. All right, anyway, there, uh, there's the battle in Pokemon Shield. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what it was like. That was my first time fighting in this, so I wasn't even sure what all changed. But yeah, after, of course, several months, now we, we now know. But anyway, it's time for the final match. Again, this is the final match for either game. So we're back to, back to normal here. I did switch out my Pokemon. They do heal up after every fight, which is nice. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star challenger, Marilyn? Or will it be the only trainer the champion, Leon, calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Ryan! You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think that I'm the same Ryan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Aw oh, yeah, here we go, gym leader Ryan. So, I guess now I can kind of mention, I like how they did the Elite Four in this. You know, I mean, having it be an elimination tournament like that and having Bead sneak in, it's pretty clever. I mean, really, this is effectively the Elite Four. That's Drought. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Yeah, so he is once again all about weather. He does have several moves and abilities that set up weather. I wasn't sure what to do against this Torkoal, because I have some bad news for you. As you see, it has Drought, right? And it has Lava Plume, which is a pretty strong Fire-type move. It'll hit hard. But it also has Solar Beam. And Solar Beam, it charges up instantly if it's sunny out. So normally I'd love to use, you know, my uh, Rune Regis, but Solar Beam will do a lot of damage to it. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna try to outmuscle this thing with Surfetched. Nice crit. Yeah, there's that solar beam. And as you can see, it uses it instantly. Now, I guess the only saving grace is Torkoal isn't like super strong, so I. Probably could have taken one hit 
for a solar beam with Runerigas, but I just didn't want to chance it. I think it'll actually help a lot in the rest of the fights, or the rest of the, uh, the Pokemon he uses in this fight. Alright, so Turtonator, Fire Dragon type, kind of scary to have while the sun is up, but that's a lot less of a threat, a lot less of something I need to worry about, because it doesn't have anything to counter ground. It does have some fire type moves, as well as Dragon Pulse and Sunny Day to set up the weather in case it got reversed or something. So if you bring your own weather condition, you might kind of enjoy that. You have something to counter that, so then you assume control of weather. But if you don't have that, that's okay as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit this thing with Earthquake. Yeah, looks like it's setting up the Shell Trap. So it's going to do some pretty heavy damage to me, I think. But I did take it out. Okay, so yeah, I guess it doesn't activate it then. So we're good. Everything's fine. Alright, Gudra. So, yeah, this is the opposite of the fire. This thing is all about the rain. And it will set up Rain Dance. And then use Surf or Muddy Water as well as a perfectly accurate Thunder. It's just a pure dragon type, so I think I'm going to send out Arcazult here. Shouldn't have that much to worry about. Especially because it'll have to take a turn to set up Rain Dance. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm just going to Ice Beam it. I'll take all the power I can get. Now, thankfully, this thing doesn't actually have a Dragon-type move, which is kind of nice. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness soak into your body. So you can just attack it with Dragon-type moves, or Dragon-types in general, and you'll be just fine. In fact, this thing has very little it can do against Dragon-types, which is kind of refreshing. Ow. Also, this thing has a lot of special defense, so if you have physical base moves, they are the way to go. But I opted to use Arctazolt anyway. Okay, there we go. Flygon! Uh, yeah, so... I... I'd love to use Arctazolt here, but that's just... It's gonna be a little rough. Hmm. So it is raining right now. Flygon is, of course, Ground Dragon. It has Levitate. Uh, it has Crunch, so I don't, I don't really even know what I want to use against it. It'll probably hit me with Earthquake. I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out Aura Beetle. Because the last Pokemon, the last two Pokemon he has on his team, they all use physical base moves. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything special base. And what I'm saying is I can set up Reflect. Which is very handy. And then I might be able to use Arctazolt and even take a, an Earthquake just fine. Alright, so there we go. And yep, there's the Sandstorm, which uh, shouldn't be too bad. It does damage to Pokemon that aren't part rock, steel, or ground every turn. Let the winds blow! Stream forward, Sandstorm! But it's not a ton of damage. And thankfully, there's not much that the Sandstorm really affects. It doesn't power up ground-type moves. Or make them perfectly accurate, so that's kind of nice. Um... I guess I'll use Psychic? I don't think I need to switch out. We should be fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. just tanks it. <laughs> this Orbeetle is just so strong. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know I had Reflect up, but I'm thinking how much that would have done without Reflect, and it was still very little. I didn't even need Reflect, is my point. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that thing's gone. It does have a... I don't know, Dragon Claw, I guess, so watch out if you're using Dragon types. But, it doesn't really have anything to counter Ice. It's just, you know, my Arctazolt here being weak to Earthquake is bad. Okay, so, Duraludon, his last Pokemon. 
Steel Dragon, so I want to use something... something ground-type against him. We've seen this thing not too long ago. But this time it's in a single battle. You do realize I'm the great Ryan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you! Oh yeah, here we go. Let's give this thing a max quake. Bring the storm! My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe don't do that. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Uh, they can stay in their seats, it's okay. Let's do it! The dragon roars! Time for my ultimate attack! G-Max Depletion! Ultimate attack! <laughs> I mean, I did have Reflect up, but still... <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna use a full restore here. Not surprised. Oh, I love this cheering. Like, this is just such a hype battle theme at this point. Okay, so Sandstorm's over. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. PP was reduced. There we go. Oh yeah. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger Maryland seizes victory! My lovely Pokemon and I become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagine. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed and you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 183, Challenger Marilyn has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by, champion, or by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. This is the result of the final round. All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I, just, I came just to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Right, you reckon I should cheer for Maryland too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. All right, well, we're going to see about that on the next episode. See you next time, everyone. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and turn on notifications to get updated. 
Be sure to check out my website for more Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, including a full mobile-friendly Pokedex, a powerful team builder, and a written walkthrough. See you next time!